Welcome back to Slacker Gaming and welcome to my thoughts on what we found out in Franchise Mode. If you're new to the channel, you will find out that I I love Franchise Modes and all games. This includes MLB The Show, uh, Madden, NBA 2K, and more. So in this episode, I want to go over what we learned from the feature premiere of MLB The Show 21 on April 1st, which was over the Franchise Mode in March to October. We're just going to talk about Franchise Mode. And I want to give it an overall grade at the end of the episode on what I feel like this they did this year and where I see franchise going in the future. I also want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you thought about the premiere and everything and what you guys think needs to be fixed or what you guys enjoyed about it as well. <laughs> Go over what I feel like was... A little step forward in how the menus look and some different visuals when entering franchise mode i feel like it's more of an nba and madden type of feel to it so it's cleaner compared to what it has been for the last three or four years but i also don't feel like it's anything too crazy that would completely change how i feel about franchise the first thing we're going to talk about is the evaluating players and they broke this down into a trade metric of contract attributes and performance saying that the trade logic looks at these three different things to give a player a value then to trade for them you must meet or exceed that value to be able to make the trade i'm glad they kind of upgraded the trade logic but i feel like they missed something very very big in the trade logic itself and i feel like there needs to be a team logic to this and what i mean by the the team logic is if a team is looking for a playoff push they might be willing to let some of their prospects off their team in order to fill what the team needs to win now so if the st louis cardinals need starting pitching and they have a chance at winning the world series maybe they let a a a guy that's younger and and needs more time to develop maybe they let him go for a starting pitcher so i hope the trade logic goes into that they didn't say it would but i think it's a big thing that some teams are rebuilding and want to get rid of um older players that might be a higher rating and some teams are looking to win now so they want a higher a higher rated player right now and are willing to give up some of their younger players in order to get that and i didn't see that in the three different things when they were talking about um the tr the trade logic the other thing they talked about was the player metric and it is based on performance and attributes it's 75 percent attributes 25 percent performance and i think this should be closer to a 33 percent performance and 66 player uh metric and the reason I say that is if you look at like a prospect like Soto when he was coming up, he comes up, let's say at a 70, has an MVP type season his first year, and he goes to maybe like a 77. Then the next year he has another MVP type season. He goes to an 85 or an 86, and all of the other MVPs are high 90s, 95 or above. And I want to see that included. Like if you, if you get MLB the show 20 and... Soto comes in as an 80 because he hasn't done anything yet. He has an MVP type season. Then MLB The Show 21. Oh, what do you know? He has a 94 overall rating. He went up 14 overall in that whole entire year because of what he did last year. And I feel like there needs to be more of that. I want to see players that are 21 years old that are 90s because they are good and deserve that 91. I also want to see players that are 95 and they struggle they hit like 112 or some ungodly number like that maybe they drop 10 or 12 um ratings down i want to see that type of dynamic change because then i have players that are 19 playing the mlb hit 325 then they go up to like five or six and then it takes them five seasons to get up to the 90 ranking that they've been playing like all five seasons long so we'll have to see once the game kind of comes in and what we see throughout the year, we'll have to see how big of jumps are actually in this year's game. So the other thing they talked about was the, the contracts and I'm glad they gave us more budget information, but they make it sound like they're doing us a favor and that, that they did a great job and they did, they did a great job. But my question is why wasn't this done before? 
why is this a big deal now and how hard was it to show this to us before um i, I i'm gonna say this a lot during this episode and it's like basically polishing a turd what they're doing is saying hey we we did what we should have done six years ago we we finally did it like be happy but i'm not i'm not happy with just adding a budget logic that should have been added three years ago um i think this game needs a lot of change and we'll kind of go over what they said because they talked about like the foundation of the game is what they're working on this year so it looks like they made strides on this year's game but they have a big big foundation to to continue to build on that's right. So why this is all really important stuff and why I've taken all this time to explain it is because the trade metric and player metric not only make MLB The Show 21 that much better, but it also sets the foundation for everything we want to accomplish moving forward in franchise in March, October. So when I'm talking about the foundation, I'm hoping that this means they'll finally take a look at what the community wants and needs and the fixes or changes that franchise needs uh, for the better moving forward because what I saw in this year's game was that again basically just polishing a turd they took a, a neglected um, franchise mode and made it look better and gave us stuff that should have already been in the game three years ago so they made it look like they did such a great job and they gave us so much yet it should have been stuff that was added in three years ago why is it just now being added in the other things they are talking about were the budget and projections for future years. And I actually love that they did this. It's pretty cool to look into your franchise as a whole and look into what will ha you will have going forward and what a player might be projected in the future. So if you watched it, they are talking about a top prospect and his like progression through 2021, 2022. And it goes up, obviously, because I think he's going to get better. If you see a top prospect not reaching what you thought they would, maybe you move on from them and, you know, if they're if you're struggling with them. So I like the fact that they did this. I think it's it, the best thing they did really was add that kind of logic in there. And a lot of it will be kind of how the player performs as well. So if the player performs better, they'll increase faster and such like that. But I do like seeing that through year and year, you have people... Um, you could see people moving through your organization as prospects. The budget system. All right, I'll say this fans, we listen to your feedback and I'll admit that you and I got confused at times when trying to figure out what I could or could not afford during my franchise campaigns. You talking about you were confused. I think all of us <laughs> were confused. So we're happy to hear about these changes. Yeah, it was about time we did something about it. So I hope you listened to that sound bite. And I think it's so funny that they actually admit that they didn't like the way the budget works and what you can and can't see and how big of a pain it was. So to me, it's like, well, why didn't you fix that three or four years ago? Why all of a sudden are you not fixing something that you didn't even like? Why did you release a product of a game every year for three or four years when you didn't even like it yourself? That I don't understand. And that right there tells you how much they care about franchise mode. I do also like that they added how much you can potentially get based on like playoff runs and etc. Again, an upgrade on what they had, but why wasn't this already in the game? Why is this a big thing they added in the game when this should have been before? Like, how is, I mean, through the beginning of time, you get paid more if you go to the World Series because you play more games. How is that logic not already built into the game three or four years ago? So again, I feel like, again, polishing a turd. So last thing we're going to talk about before I tell you my thoughts all together is the stadium creation integration. And the reason I bring this up is they say that you they will have it in franchise mode, but it was not made for franchise. This was made for Diamond Dynasty, and they decided, oh, we could throw this in the franchise. So this isn't like a franchise exclusive thing. What we found out is we can make our own stadiums within reason, obviously, and we can make that for any team, your MLB team, your AAA team, your AA team, which is awesome. And you can have up to 30 slots for stadiums. So I feel like they did a good job there. And I, I like the stadium creation idea. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think people are going to make some amazing stadiums. I think it's going to be a great thing. But again, I want to see if you haven't watched my other videos, I want to see in the future where you could set hot dog prices 
uh, ticket sales, parking, all of that stuff. Kind of moving forward through the franchise altogether. And there's one note I want to add that through this, they said they added in the stats for like double A AA and triple A something again. Like, why was this a thing where you couldn't see what they did in triple A and double A? They had they had all the statistics. It's in the game. Why didn't they storm to a table and give them to you the next year? That again is a thing that again, they added, which is great, but it should have been in there automatically already. They have all the information just coded in and so to me again a polishing a turd you're basically saying oh well we are holding it from you before but here you go you can have it now you know look what we did we did such a great job so you're probably wondering literally what my thoughts together if you've listened this far into it you know kind of what i think about this game and this year i feel like they polished a turd and they gave us fancy menus and added in things that should have been added in several games ago and what they did say is that they hope it is that it is a building block and i hope that they stick to that and actually make real change in the franchise landscape but they have a long way to go to fixing franchise and upgrading franchise and making it where it could be right now if i had to rate the franchise mode out of all like franchise modes that i play it's probably like a three out of ten because it's fun to play because it's franchise, but you can't expect anything great as far as an experience of the game. And again, it's just franchise. I mean, it is what it is, but they don't do anything to help you enjoy the franchise mode more. So altogether, I'm not happy with, with, with what they gave us this year. And I feel like most of it was just cosmetic and polishing up a mode that hasn't been touched in years they gave us stuff that they already had they just needed to display it and they gave us stuff that was like stadium that was made for diamond dynasty and they're like oh yeah i guess we can add that to franchise and then we could say that oh franchise is getting the stadium creation integration something that they've already made and they just put it into franchise um same thing with player player logic play it metrics they they changed and tweaked those things but they made it sound like it wasn't a thing before and now they are doing all these big things but before they weren't doing it it's just so confusing like what were you doing with the players before obviously you had a logic built in how was this one much better than what the last one was so now that I'm done ranting, now that you know what I think about the franchise that we are going to see in MLB 21, the show, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I would be interested in to see what you guys think needs to be added. And I'd be interested to see what you guys thought about the whole franchise feature that was done on April 1st. Make sure you also give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. We are going to be doing a lot of MLB, the show 21 content. I got about four different types of seasons coming out when MLB 21 releases. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can come back and watch those. Until next time, Slacker out.